Hi, welcome to Vegetables Day 162. And this is Lucy. Can you say hi, say hi, Lucy. <laughs> Poor baby, she had to go to the vet today. Um, she has a slip disc like right about here, so poor thing. She's not been moving around very well. On Tuesday, I had to take her to the bathroom, walk her to the bathroom, walk her back to her pad. Because every time I put her down, she just fall over because she just couldn't put any weight on that back side of her, of her body. But she's feeling much better today. She got a steroid shot, and she's got more steroids to take the next week, and plus she has a muscle relaxer, so help her calm her down so she can get some rest, and hopefully that'll heal. She's a Maltese. She doesn't hold still very well. Whoopsie! Say hi, boo! There, oh, look at that. Straight at the camera. <laughs> Okay, you can get down now. You went out? You went out? Okay, there you go. Okay, so that's part of what I spent today with doing is taking her to the vet. Um, glad it wasn't anything more serious than that. She's 13 years old, so an old lady. And Malteses usually live between 12 and 15 years, so I'm happy that it was just that. So we'll nurse her back to health. Um, the rest of the day, I just spent a quick time, a little bit of time today, um, doing, you know, showing or taking pictures of what I ate today. So. Um, you know, I'll go ahead and show you those and tell you a little bit about it. So, for breakfast today, I had a few of the Mary's Gone Crackers. Um, I put them in there because, just because I did have a few, um, you know, maybe, I mean, it's the bottom of the box, so they're uh, mostly crumbs now, but probably the equivalent of three or four crackers. Um, just to give me something to munch on while my oatmeal cooked. Um, and then of course you see I have a bowl of oatmeal. Um, the red part is frozen strawberries. And then I put a two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of peanut butter powder, a tablespoon of flaxseed, and then put some coconut milk on the top. And then um, my usual cup of coffee. Um, this did have, of course, I'll have um, the coconut slash almond milk. But what I have started doing is that I'm no longer putting half and half in my coffee. Uh, I am now using soy milk. So I know it seems kind of a weird combination to have three different plant milks in your coffee. But <laughs> I guess that's just me being me. Um, but yeah, almond, coconut, and soy milk. So, not bad. Uh, really happy that I was able to uh, eliminate the dairy from that drink in the morning. Now for lunch, I started off with a craving. I opened up the freezer and didn't used to think or have a problem with these. Um, I was getting them from my grandson because he loves peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and I didn't want to make them anymore. Well, they've become a problem now. Chef AJ is so right when she says, if it's in your house, it's in your mouth. And despite them being frozen, I still eat them straight out of the freezer. <laughs> so I did start lunch off with one of these. So the next thing I had for lunch is a bag of steam fresh broccoli florets and on the broccoli I put uh, black pepper, Bragg's liquid aminos, Bragg's nutritional yeast, some garlic powder, and some onion powder. 
And this is just a quick shot uh, to show you what it looked like after I mixed it all up. And with the broccoli, I had, as you can see, french fries and ketchup. Uh, the french fries were heated in the air fryer. For dinner, I decided to have a chicken and cheese quesadilla with Southwest Crema. And uh, it is an every plate recipe, but I did make a couple of changes to it. Uh, the first change is that the recipe called for a long green pepper. Well, I didn't have one of those, but I had picked up a sun package of Sunset Wild Wonders, and uh, my package had a red one, a yellow one, and two dark red that almost look brown. Um, they're all peppers, and I'll put a link in the description box below to where you can get those. Um, but um, as you can see, I diced the pepper, and then I'm just sauteing it in the pan until they're soft. And of course, the every plate recipe called for a little bit of oil in the pan to saute them in. Well, as you can see, I have water, and I actually find that I like using the water saute method better, not just for health reasons, but because it keeps the peppers and the rest of your recipe from just tasting so oily and greasy. So the next step in the recipe is to cook the chicken. Well, I forgot to take a picture of that. Sorry. Uh, what you're supposed to do is use chicken, cut it into strips, season it with the Southwest seasoning, and then uh, with a little bit of oil, fry it in the skillet until it's cooked through. Well, uh, what I decided to do is instead of chicken, I used the Gardein plant-based chicken-like strips uh, that are in the freezer section. And um, I just used them frozen. I coated them with the Southwest dressing. Um, this time I did use a little bit of oil in the pan and then uh, just cooked them until they were heated through. And then uh, this picture is of the quesadilla right after I assembled it. So um, you just put uh, the cheese on the bottom. It's a mixture of Monterey Jack and mozzarella. And I did use real cheese uh, in, uh, Okay, I should say dairy cheese because even vegan cheese is real cheese. <laughs> but um, I did use dairy cheese because when I went to the store, they didn't have any vegan cheese. Uh, so I did splurge and knew that. Uh, so I put some of that on the bottom. Then I cover, put on some of the peppers, the chicken strips, and then covered it with more cheese. And this picture is just showing that I had folded it shut and cooked it in the skillet. Uh, the recipe called for a little bit of oil in the skillet as well, but this is a nonstick skillet that uh, is truly nonstick, so uh, no oil was needed. I just cooked it and browned it up. This picture is of the finished quesadillas. And as you can see, they are nice and brown, no oil needed, which is fabulous. And uh, then to the side of that is the Southwest Crema that I mentioned. Now, how that is different than the recipe is, of course, the original recipe calls for sour cream. Well, I used vegan sour cream. And then uh, I added the Southwest seasoning to that as well. Uh, the original recipe just calls for adding water and I tried that but I decided it needed just a little something extra and it could have been because I used the vegan sour cream which isn't quite as tart as dairy sour cream um, but uh, because it wasn't quite as tart as I thought it 
should be and needed a little bit of something, I actually added lime juice and that really hit the spot. Um, this, these quesadillas were absolutely delicious. So the last thing I had today was a cup of tea. And the reason I decided to have tea was because I've been experiencing a lot of bloating and what seems to be like a little extra water weight. And so um, I had done some studying and researching on natural diuretics and natural ways to, uh, you know, lose water weight. And um, my research revealed that sometimes both chamomile and peppermint teas can help. So I decided to have one cup of tea with both of them. Um, as you can see, the brand of chamomile tea is called Stash. And then the peppermint tea is a traditional medicinals. Those are just random brands that I bought at the store. Uh, so, you know, I can't really necessarily recommend one or the other. Um, but I also did have Sweet and Low, which is my preferred sweetener of choice. Uh, I just like the flavor of it. I know it's not necessarily the healthiest for you, but um, it is the sweetener that I enjoy the most as far as the flavor and then also know that I'm not going to have an allergic reaction like I do sometimes with stevia. And then the soy milk uh, was actually kind of an interesting story. Uh, when I had placed my order with Walmart, I had requested uh, the silk soy milk. Of course, that, you know, that's the uh, soy milk that's the most popular brand that everybody knows. Uh, but they didn't have that. They had this one instead, so substituted. And, you know, I really enjoyed it. This final picture is just a picture of my tea after I mixed it up. Um, as you can see, um, it did become pretty light after adding the soy milk. Um, but it was really tasty. So, um, the rest of the day I just did dishes. And that's about it. It was really hot today. It was 94, 95 today. And oh, I did put the air window unit in as well. Um, we have central air, but when it gets in the 90s, it just can't keep up. So we supplement that with a window unit. And we've had the um, uh, heating and air personnel out and they say it's working fine. Like, okay, sure it is. Uh, we think what it is, is there's somewhere along the line, whoever, uh, the company that installed the new vents, they put in a damper. Uh, so, you know, dampers so that we can, you know, maybe adjust it from one room to the other. Well, we can't find the damper, and we think that's what's wrong, is that the damper is closed to this half, you know, this side of the house. Now, our bedroom is nice and cool. I mean, even today, though, it was warm in there because it was so hot outside. But for the most part, bedroom stays cool. Um, and I've got it dampered all the way shut, but it's still blasting cold air. So definitely know that somewhere along this time line, there's a damper that's shut. And I don't want to go crawling under the house to look for it. <laughs> Crawling into the house is not my favorite thing to do, especially now that I'm getting a lot less mobile. So that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I know it wasn't very long, but um, you know, just wanted since it was Foodie Friday, thought I would show you what I had to eat today. Now, of course, it's not for weight loss per se. But it was 90% vegan. And a lot of it was whole foods. So I think I did okay. At least I didn't go out to eat. So I'm proud of that. I've been having in trouble with that lately. So at any rate, um, I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a video every day. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much for watching. 
and I will see you hopefully tomorrow, but definitely in the next video.